Hi, my name's Phoebe, and I'm going to walk you through how you can take some of your graded patterns and pair them with avatars so that you can then use our great grade review mode. Now, some of you might know our grade review mode was introduced in 6.1, I believe. Actually, I think it was 6.0. Um, anyways, it's been around for a bit. And what it has been is it's been updated in 6.2. So what I'm going to show you is one, how you can set it all up so that you can then use it. And two, how you can take some of those um, project files that you set up in later versions of Glow and just prep them so that you can use them in this newer version of Glow. So let's get started. So we've got our file open here and we have our pattern pieces graded out. So you can check that because over in your object browser, there's your graded tab here and you can click here and you see that my shirt is graded out one way and my skirt's graded out another. Also, if you go to your 2D toggle menu, all of you already know this already, you can hit this little grade um, icon and then you can see how your garments are graded. Okay, so now let's go to the pair avatar tab. So this is the tab that you're gonna use to then get to your grade review mode. So let's go look here. And here I just have my sizes. So I have small, medium, large, extra large. This is for both of them. So I'm gonna to go to my pair and what I'm first going to have to do is I'm gonna hit update. And now I'm gonna update this. Now you see below where it says size four, size four, size four, size four. Yeah, you see that now. Okay, so that is what's going to be replaced with our new avatar sizes. So this first one is gonna actually stay size four, and then the medium, large, and extra large are gonna switch to different avatar sizes. The first thing we just have to do here is we have to click on this little button over here. It's called our avatar. Um, like it's where you can pair your avatar. So pair 3D form. This does not, okay, fun fact. This does not have to be a clove avatar. It can be a custom avatar if you'd like, um, but just some things won't work, like redrape, but it's okay. So I'm gonna go to this little button here and I'm gonna hit size four because I'm just gonna be safe and pair it with size four. Okay, now I'm going to simulate. So this is going to simulate and everything and it's going to be all set. Fantastic. We've got a garment. We've got one down, three to go. Okay, now I'm going to click my medium. You're now going to see that there's like sewing lines and stuff showing up because this is like changed the size. So it's become a little bit bigger. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our pair 3D form again, and now we're gonna click size eight because size eight is a medium now, except that. And we're gonna simulate again and all set. Okay, now we're gonna do large and pair that. We're gonna go with size 12. Now, instead of hitting simulate, because I'm using our Clow avatars, which are great because they come with rigged skeletons and they work with and Clow really easily and well, not to say that custom avatars don't, they do. Um, but one of the great things that Clow avatars have is you can use this redrape thing, this redrape button. It's not a thing, it's a button. So I can hit redrape and what will happen is it will redrape it on this larger size, which is really great because that's gonna like make everything go a lot faster. Well, maybe not faster, but easier. Maybe I should have some elevator music. Dum, 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 dum. Okay, so now this is great, all set. 
And now some of you might be like, it's messed up. What happens? Well, if all of you remember, there's a thousand different ways to do everything in Quill. And there's so many different helping tools in Quill to like solve anything. One of the tools I'm going to use is this layering. So I'm going to click layer one and now I'm going to simulate. Look at that, it tucks right in. Like, finish. And I'm going to just play around with it a little bit so that it looks, I don't know, more like what I want. I can now just select my squared again, turn this off to zero. I can simulate once more. Okay, great. And now we've got our last size. This has been done so quickly. Like, it's not that it's not. Like, how great is that? Did you like that I even snap for emphasis? I hope you did. I forgot to check it off. I was just so excited about the snap. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna check to large. I already paired it. Now we're gonna simulate. I could have done the redrape again, but I just wanted to simulate to show you all that you can simulate, you can redrape, you can do either. What could have been helpful, especially for such a larger size, is when I did simulate, I could have then selected the skirt and done layer one again, so that it, just to help Chloe out a little bit. But again, Chloe doesn't really need much help, it normally figures things out on its own. Okay, wow, we did it. Now, before we jump into grade review mode, I just wanna quickly show you if you had a file, from an older version. So I have this same exact file, but it's from 6.1. So if I go to this older version and I even see pair avatar, you'll see that I already have these sizes. If you have something like this already set up and you've set it all up in older versions, do not worry. All you have to do is go through to the other versions and just quickly simulate them all you should get a little pop-up box that comes up when you first open up an old grade review um, file, and it will just tell you to do this. But all you have to do is this. You just have to click through the other sizes and just quickly simulate them all. And then the information will then go into the new grade review updates and stuff. And then you can read all of the different um, fit maps and stuff and all of that, which is really nice. So again, I'm just gonna do layer one. Again, this is going by like a snap as well. And then orange. It's a little messy, but again, it's going to fix itself up, which is always nice. Okay. So once that's all set, you can then just jump straight into greater view mode. And all of that information is going to be in there. As you can see. So I have it on layer one, which is why you see all of these skirts in green. Let's jump to the um, original file we were working on now, this one. And let's fix that mistake, put a zero. And now let's jump to greater view mode. Okay, so here I have greater view mode because I took layer one off, the skirts aren't in green. But now you can see all of your um, sizes all together. So if you right click and hold, you can rotate all together. Um, you can pan, you can zoom in and all of that. So all of the things that we know about this review mode from our previous versions are still true today. I'll quickly review it all for everyone just in case you, um, somebody may have forgotten or anything like that. So you can rotate them all together. If you'd like, you can zoom them all in and out and you can pan them. You can also lock and unlock. So you can just rotate one if you'd like. You can lock this again 
so that all of them rotate together. You also have the option of changing your view. So you can do a wrap, which is what this is right now. You could do horizontal and you can also do vertical. I'm gonna go back to the wrap. You can also um, do full um, screen and just hit escape to go back. And if you'd like, you can even change out your sizes. So I can lock my aspect ratio here and I can say this is actually six. Um, oh, that was way too big. That's not what I wanted. Six hundred by nine hundred, and then you can see with the wrap. Then I'll like roll, um, move this down. And then I'll see the other side. So you can do that. Um, I'm gonna go back to four hundred. And also you can save all of these. Before we do that, I'm gonna take you through the new updates. So one new update is with our fabric mode. So you now you can view different fabrics. So you can do thick texture, monochrome, translucent, which is really nice because you can see all um, how it's hitting on your avatar and everything like that. And you can also do a mesh view. One other thing I just wanted to point you all to my graphic did change in size when you like changed it up. That's why it's like still um, like in the same placement and looks proportional to each size because I made sure that it changed. So you can edit graphic sizes based off of the different size of your garment. And then the fun update is the fit maps. So here you can do your stress map how helpful is that right it's so helpful so you can do the stress and you can do your strain map like the most helpful if you want to know more about stress and strain maps and fitting maps there is a youtube video done by one of our other designers who walks you through how to read all of this it's really informative. I suggest checking it out. To get out, you just have to click on the map again, and then it will get out. And then finally, you also can change around how you view your avatar. So right now we have textured surface. You could do monochrome, or you could even do a mesh. We're going to go back to texture. So those are the updates. What's really nice is if you go into stress map, you could then hit this save button. And now you could do um, fit uh, review and hit save. And you can do transparent background and save separate images. Hit save. And then go back. You can view them and then you have them all saved out. Let's open. So here you have it saved out and you can scroll through, which is really nice and would be really great for fittings. So this is the update with Great Review. I hope you really enjoyed watching this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment below. Uh, one of the clothes designers will get back to you as always. And please don't forget to like and subscribe this channel. We have so many great and helpful things to watch and to learn about. Um, thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed.